With this week's school shootings in Nashville and last week's shooting at Denver's East High School, student safety is top of mind for all students, parents, and teachers. And tonight, Denver 7's Colette Bordelon visited one of the smaller school districts in the metro for a candid conversation about the layers of planning that go into keeping kids safe. Are all the SROs aware? Jamie White had a busy morning. All right, that's what I needed. Thank you. Fielding nine safe to tell reports in only 15 minutes. The last ones that we've got guns, duplicate report, threats, planned school attack, duplicate report, planned school attack, drugs, bullying. The reports are incredibly important, and luckily, the threats are unfounded. Since coming back from break, the last few days have been, this has kind of been what we've seen. As the director of intervention services for 27J schools in Brighton, her team takes care of everything that can be a barrier to education, including fake threats circulating on social media. We don't know who's passing these around. It could have came, come from Washington, D.C. to 27J in an instant. Beyond the immediate needs are the ones that have always been there, like the mental health struggles of students, which increased after the pandemic. The whole system's not well. School counselors are greatly outnumbered by students, so 27J also pays for school-based therapists who can focus more on behavioral health. And they're making a huge impact, uh, but there's just not enough of them. And to get more support, the district would need more money from the state. Schools everywhere are just a microcosm of the rest of the world. Are we seeing mental health problems in the world? Then we're seeing them in schools, right? It's if a student makes a threat, the district creates a response management plan, and many of those plans include behavioral health needs. Many of the interventions are not about searching kids and are not about doing things that are punitive to kids. They're about us helping kids learn that that's not what we do. The district has school resources officers on middle and high school campuses and plans to have them at elementary schools in the fall. SROs are not the answer, no. Do SROs provide a level of safety in certain situations? Yes. Saying there's no singular answer to problems that keep piling up. I had 32 text messages in the time that I did the interview for you, all related to principals and staff fearful of what's going around. But White is here to make sure kids keep learning, no matter how much the world throws at them. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.